Hi, just some feedback on my speed pedal. Uh, it's a Trek Alant Plus 9 Plus 9 S, so it's a speed pedal. I really, truly like it. Uh, it's fast, it's light, and I've been going 500 k's on it now. Uh, Compared to the other ones I had where it was in Viola, which could not last, and it was uh, it was a Kettler, it was two, nine kilos more heavy. This one, let's go down here. Uh, here. These, the two smaller sprockets, they, do not last. Uh, I have uh, tightened this one with the arm. Where is it? This one. Uh, so it's tight uh, because from the very beginning, this the smallest one, it was uh, what's that called jumping, and the second one is occasionally jumping now. But my speed home, there this one was is really not lasting at the moment. So I think I need to put steel on these two, else it will die too fast. Uh, it would also be better if there was a gear between the last one and the second one. The jump is too high. But one reason for that trick or boss trying to be clever, I know chip tuning, I've been there too, not on this one, but a normal bike. Uh, mountain bike. So the clever thing they done is your your cadence goes to 80. It reduces support, and that means when you're on the smallest one with 80, you're going 45. But that also means that my average cadence now is 70, and not between 80 and 90. And that means that you, your torque, the pressure you put. Up this one, because now you have a low cadence, you put even more pressure on, supported by a very strong Bosch engine. So the tear here would have increased. So trick a Bosch, try not to be clever and give me the freedom to have the cadence I'm built for. Because 